hand sized specimen. Now I'm not sure as to where this guy comes from, most likely from a deposit in South Africa, most likely lesser known. I'm going to have a look for traces of Jan Kutsia, of course Jan Kutsia mine in the Northern Cape being known for larger quartz crystals. One telltale identifier here would be the girthite coating on, on a lot of these quartz crystals. Lovely clear uh, uh, quartz, lovely form, little bit of a rainbow effect in some of the faces as we have inside, as you can see the little internal fractures. Quality wise, pretty, pretty much intact. Nice, nice hand sized specimen, a nice example of quartz. I'll just move it. Let's have a look from the top down, give you a perspective of the, the form. Is this a doubly terminated crystal? That's actually a, a long crystal with a little one sitting on that point over there. Quite interesting. Matrix, not all that much to look at. And of course, from a display point of view, I'd have it going on a stand, going around like this. Quite, quite lovely. With this blanket of uh, 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 hematite, most likely specular hematite, most likely from the Orange River region and surrounds. But what's interesting to me here is that there doesn't seem to be an inclusion of color or, or redness or, or even grayness inside the quartzes. So they are pretty, pretty clear, as you can see there. From most likely South Africa. Uh, Quartz with uh, a specular hematite, specularite uh, a coating. 